That's exactly what I wanted to ask you. We received a call from the police. Damn cops snitched on us after all. Hmm, it's rare not to see you alone. Where were you roaming around until this time? Uh, a, ca a castle? So you have no intention of giving an honest answer. What's this about a castle? Kamoshida? You seem so carefree, Sakamoto. Quite a difference from when you did morning practice for the track team. Shut up! It's your fault that it... How dare you speak that way to Mr. Kamoshida? Uh, there's not much leeway left for you, you know? He's the one that provoked me! Do you really want to be expelled? In any case, you'll have to explain yourself. Follow me. What? This is bullshit! Come now. I should have been more considerate, too. Let's just say that we were both to blame. Well, if you say so. Still, you're coming with me. It's undeniable that you're extremely late. Fine. By the way, you're that new transfer student, correct? Have we met somewhere? That's right. I remember now. Well, I'll overlook this just for today. I'm sure you've heard from the principal. But cause any trouble and you'll be expelled. Understand? At any rate, hurry up and go to the faculty office. I'm sure Ms. Kawakami's tired of waiting. Good luck trying to enjoy your new school life. The school turned into an old castle? A talking cat? Are you hallucinating from an overdose? I won't put up with you if you're simply joking around. I'm going to have you continue the story. The one who received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves was an Olympic medalist. An alumnus from Shujin Academy. The PE teacher Suguru Kamoshida. It all came out in his confession. He was guilty of everything. The abuse, the... violations. But there should have been no connection between the two of you since you had just transferred. Why did you target him? That's unacceptable! Try and recall it once again.
over half a day late on your first day? Can you explain yourself? How could you have been lost for this long? It's almost lunchtime. Well, it's probably true that you're not used to the area yet, but you're still way too late. Will you pull yourself together? You were given fair warning yesterday. More importantly, I heard that you were caught along with that sakamoto kun get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. He wasn't like that when he was devoting his time to track and field, though. Anyway, break's almost over. Classes will end after fifth period today because of the subway accident. I'll have you introduce yourself when class resumes. Follow me. By the way, when you introduce yourself... Be serious about it, even if you're lying to the class, okay? Do not say anything unnecessary. You think that's him? Huh? The one in the rumors? Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. He looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. Settle down. Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. Today we had him attend from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. All right, please say something to the class. He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it... I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh... So, your seat will be, hmm, over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. Hmm. Lies. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. Do those two know each other? Ooh, does that mean he hit on her before transferring here? That means she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamashita. Then again, this is Takamaki-san we're talking about. For real, that side of the room is totally awful. Oh right, the volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. Hmm? What's wrong? Are you sure you're okay? Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but I'm not the one who told them. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura-san sounded pretty angry. 
Oh, and about Sakamoto kun, don't get involved. Speak of the devil. What do you want? I heard the police caught you cutting classes today. <sighs> it was nothing. And you haven't dyed your hair back to black either. Sorry about that. I'll be waiting on the rooftop. <sighs> See? That's why I don't want you getting involved. Understood? Why did you allow a student like him to transfer here? He's already started associating with Sakamoto. A student with a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case. At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now don't be like that. This school counts on you, Kamoshiro-kun. You are our star. Still, a steady build-up is necessary behind such brilliance as well. Your troubles never seem to end, do they, Principal Kobayakawa? All right, I understand. I'll continue to do my best to answer your expectations of me. Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like, don't get involved with him, huh? <sighs> Figured as much. Then again, we're in the same boat. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. What was all that that happened? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So yeah, uh, thanks. Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. You know, the guy you met at the school gates. The ripped one. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamoshida was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, forget it. It must have all been a dream. It has to be. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, alright? See ya. I got a call from the school. I hear you ditched half a day on your first day of school. Just when I was thinking you had it together this morning. Look, just behave yourself. One wrong step and your life is over. You do know what probation means, right? Good. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll head over in half an hour, as promised. What are you standing around for? Get upstairs and go to bed already. 
No, it's a guy. I just hired a part-timer. Don't forget to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? Yep, I'm leaving now. I told you, he's a part-timer. Too. On your feet, inmate! Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. Seriously? Oh, uh, what's going on? Look, isn't that her? You mean that one with the red ribbon? Uh, I guess so. She's so thin. It's not fair. I've got my hair in a ponytail, too. Okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? Please, take my seat. My station's coming up. Are you sure? Oh, thin. was for this lady. Oh. It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. Thank you. Ain't it heavy, though? 
Not at all. I train plenty. Pardon me. Thank you so much for earlier. For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. Thinking you totally slipped my mind back on the train, and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Please excuse me. is starting. Hey there, Takamaki. Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis? Yes, I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. You must be lonely, too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. Oh, and be careful around that transfer student. He's got a criminal record, after all. If something were to happen to you... Thank you. Please excuse me. Yo! I 
want to talk about that castle from yesterday. I tried telling myself it was all just a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. It's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff, so... You in? You really think so? There's no way we were both dreaming the same exact effed up castle. You've got to be wondering what the deal was, too. I think we should just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. In the meantime, you're walking to the station, right? Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other weird buildings on the way. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? We walk that way from here, right? When you put it that way, I'm not so sure anymore. All right, this way. Let me know if you notice something. Huh? We're at school. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Yeah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try again. Don't worry, I won't mess up this time. Let's go. For real? Is it smaller than we think it is? What do you think? I already did that. I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like returned to the real world or something like that? Let me see your phone for a bit. What's this eyeball looking thing? Wait, what? What a weird app. Oh, wait, this is it! I knew it! It is a navigation app! There's even your search history! Oh man, I'm such a genius! Let's try using it. Why? All we're doing is starting an app. Kamoshida. Shujin Academy. Pervert. Castle. Beginning navigation. There we go! And then we went in a certain direction and... Hey, what are you... Huh? What the hell? Yesterday. We made it back. That means what happened yesterday was for real too. Yeah, those close. That happened last time too, huh? What's with that outfit? You like it? What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all! Hey! Stop making a commotion! Uh, you? The shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. <sighs> to think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? That's right. It's a castle! 
This castle is the school, but only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida. It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Explain it in a way that makes sense! I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. What did you say? What was that? It must be the slaves captive here. For real? Oh shit, it's for real! We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! You hear me, Kamushida? Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! It's Morgana! Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. It's settled then. For real? Thanks, man. Alright, let's do this. Follow me. This is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. So, uh, sorry for dragging you into all of this. But I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Really though, thanks for coming along. I owe you big time. Man, this place is as creepy as always. Mm-hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, all right? Follow me. I had a feeling there would be guards here. It looks like we're going to have to start fighting our way forward. Uh, for real? Oh boy. I'll just teach you the basics of battle for now. You'd better not forget all of this. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack from behind whenever you can. You'll need to rip their masks off to momentarily break the control that the palace ruler has over them. If you succeed, your opponent will be caught off guard allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. So, we want to get the jump on him and make the first strike. Okay, got it. Uh, you know you're just going to be watching, right? You don't have a persona. But anyway, let's go. Show me your true Who form. You? Now's our chance to strike. Go! <laughs>
the way. By the way. Uh. Hmm. Why ain't anyone here? Damn it! They were here before! Where'd they go? Quiet down! Oh yeah, there were more of them further in too. They might have been transferred already. Oh crap, I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. It would be a problem if they discovered us now. Let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. The shadows probably won't come in here. How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all. One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So, it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> that son of a bitch! You must really hate this Kamashita guy. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault! I don't know what happened between you two, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah. I'm curious as hell about it, too. That's also because of this world. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. <sighs> I'm so fed up with all this! I'm more curious about you than his clothes. What the hell are you anyways? I'm a human. An honest-to-God human. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is... well... it's because I lost my true form, I think. You think? But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught, though. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshida, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time, too, rookie. Got it? Don't worry, I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. That's a toy! But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre-something. Huh? Huh? So you were planning this from the start. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. Probably still sentries making their rounds out there. Let's use this time to hash out our current situation. Let's do it.
then. Now then. duty here. The way to the training hall should be just beyond those bars. So, what are we gonna do? Do we gotta fight it? Seems like it. Just don't let it notice you beforehand. If it does, the palace's security level will rise. And what do we do if that happens? Run away? Well, the security level will go back down if we can beat more enemies without getting noticed. That sounds, uh, complicated. Fine. I'll put together some info about the security level. This is crucial to successful palace infiltration. So make sure you actually read it, okay? Feel your Who true you? form. Now's our chance to strike. Persona. Ravage them. Persona. One enemy remaining. This is the last one. Persona. Anyone who looks like an intruder? No, nobody yet. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be a lot of enemies. It'd be impossible to dodge all of them. Then what do we do? Should we try and take him down like before? It's not that simple. We still have a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. I... I see. Sorry. Damn it. I wish I could fight. I'd at least be able to help out a little bit. But all I got is this toy from earlier. <sighs> Such a loser. Huh? Do you mean that gun? Yeah, it looks real and all, but it doesn't shoot anything. I see. Well, there is a way. Okay, we'll use that to take down the enemies. What? Were you listening to me? It don't even shoot pellets. Don't worry, I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair! Dude, I, I keep saying it's not gonna fire anything! You have the gun with you, right? Point it at a shadow and fire!
How about that? Surprised? There are plenty of instances where rapid fire is going to be more useful than swinging your knife. Of course, you can run out of ammo, but using it all up does more good than letting it collect dust. I'll show you my weapon, too. All right, level up. For real? Listen to this. do yep sure that's where we need to be going too. You guys gonna take it down again? I guess that's our only choice. But wait, 
This might be a good time. Okay, I've decided. I'm gonna teach you two a special way to fight enemies. Something like that. Let's go! Listen, there's a distinct flow to battles. Let me show you. After all, seeing is... something? First, knock down all the enemies. Everything starts at that crucial step. Persona! You're mine. Alright! Now rush on in for an all-out attack! Hmm, that went really well. You're definitely fit for this. What was that super move thing you just did? I told you, it's called an all-out attack. If you manage to knock all the enemies down, you might be able to use it to beat them all at once. Yeah, that was over quick. It's a concentrated attack on defenseless enemies, after all. Now, as I mentioned before, I want you to be the head of our command. You can decide when we use this. Strike the enemy's weakness, knock them all down, then do an all-out attack. That's the ideal pattern. Yes! Uh, yeah. Do I have to tell you to keep your voice down? But this is beyond messed up! How do I open this? Stop it! Leave us alone. It's useless. Huh? If we stay obedient, we won't be executed like you guys. You're telling me you want to stay in a place like this? Wait a minute. Were you planning on taking these guys out of here? We can't just leave them here. How stupid can you be? What? These are only humans in Kamoshida's cognition. They aren't real humans that have entered from reality. They're different from you two. Cognition? It means there's no point in saving them. They're different from the real ones in the real world. You could say that these are extremely similar looking dolls. The hell? Why's it gotta be so complicated? So the school's a castle and the students are slaves. It's so on point that it makes me laugh. This really is the inside of that asshole's head. Still, this is horrible. It must mean he treats them as slaves in the real world, too. In the real world, too? Wait, I know these guys. They're members of the volleyball team, the one Kamoshida coaches for. They must be physically abused every day. There's no way they'd be so beat up normally. Don't tell me. They're going through similar shit in reality? Most likely. I mean, this proves that Kamoshida thinks of them as slaves. So, it might be for real. I heard that Kamoshida's using physical punishment. They're just rumors, but... If they're true, wouldn't this be something to report to the police? I'll use these guys as evidence. If it all goes well, we can take down that asshole Kamoshida! 
Huh? It's not working. We can use the navigation app, but the camera's a no-go? A navigation app? That's what we used to come here. What about yours? Whatever you do is fine, but we're gonna get caught if we stand around like this. We need to head back. Hang on a sec. There's no other way. I'll just memorize their faces before going home. Let's go! Let's go! Same mistake again. You're hopeless. The school ain't your castle. I've memorized their faces real good. You're going down. It seems it's true when they say barking dogs seldom bite. How far the star runner of the track team has fallen. What the hell are you getting at? I speak of the track trader who acted in violence, ending his teammates' dreams. Oh, I can only imagine the pain of the others who were dragged under with your selfish act. <laughs> what a surprise. So you're accompanying him without knowing anything at all. He betrayed his teammates and crushed their hopes. Yet he still carries on as carefree as ever. That's not true! What a tragedy! You blindly trusted this fool, and he's led you right to your death. Hurry up and dispose of them. I can't stand their stench. God damn it! Ryuji, move! Oh, we're surrounded! I'll kill you! I'll kill you because King Kamashita told us! I'll kill because that's what he wants! This will hurt. Only the good die young, kid. It's time. Yes, 
There's more of them? This is bad. <laughs> Failure! Can't be. I bet you simply came here on a whim and ended up like this, isn't that right? No! What a worthless piece of trash, getting emotional so quickly. How dare you raise your hand at me! Though it was only temporary, have you forgotten my kindness in supervising track practice? It wasn't no practice, it was physical abuse! You just didn't like our team! It was nothing but an eyesore. The only one who needs to achieve results is me. That coach who got fired was hopeless too. Had he not opposed me with a sound argument, I would have settled it with only breaking his star's leg. What? Do you need me to deal with your other leg too? <laughs> the school will call it self-defense anyway. Damn it. Am I gonna lose again? Not only can I not run anymore, the track team is gone too because of this asshole. So that's why. Once these two are dealt with, you're next. <laughs> Real G! You're right. Everything that was important to me was taken by him. I'll never get him back. Stay there and watch. Look on as these hopeless scum die for nothing because they sided with trash like you. No, that's what you are. All you think about is using people. You're the real scumbag, Kamoshida. What are you doing? Silence him! Stop looking down on me with that stupid smile on your face! You made me wait quite a while. You seek power, correct? Then let us form a pact. Since your name has been disgraced already, why not hoist the flag and make havoc? The other you who exists within desires it thus. I am thou. There is no turning back. The skull of rebellion is your flag henceforth! <laughs> what can you do? Cower in fear and watch! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Persona? This effin' rocks! Now that I got this power, it's time for payback! Yo, I'm ready! Bring it! Don't mock me, you brat! Blast him away, Captain Kid! Troublemakers that bother King Kamoshida with trifle matters. Kamoshida's cognition ain't changing, right? Then I'll act like the troublemaker I am. Let's do this, Captain Kid. Yeah, he's fine, buddy. Persona! Captain Kid! Captain! Nice! The enemy's down! 
Proves that Kamoshida ain't anything special. <sighs> How about that? Whoa. So Ryuji had the potential too. Even if you apologize now. I ain't forgiven you. I told you that this is my castle. It seems you still don't understand. What? Takamaki? Oh! oh what a meowless and beautiful girl! What's going on? you mention it, but why is she even here? Hey! Let go of her, you perv! How many times must I tell you until you understand? This is my castle, a place in which I can do whatever I want. Everyone wishes to be loved by me. That is, everyone besides slow-witted thieves like you. Takamaki! Say something! Calm down, Ryuji. It seems that girl isn't the real one. She's the same as those slaves. A being made from Kamashita's cognition of her. Are you jealous? Well, I'm not surprised. Women aren't drawn to problematic punks like you. <laughs> Damn it! Clean them up this instant! We're outnumbered. Let's scram before we get surrounded! We're not gonna do anything and just run? Thank God you've got a level head. <sighs> Fine. We'll expose what you really are no matter what! You better be ready for us! <laughs> I was beginning to get bored of torturing the ones here. Come at me whenever you want, if you don't care about your life. <laughs> Ignore him. Let's go! <sighs> Anyways, I don't remember changing into this. Uh, should I be happy about that? And again, it ain't as bad as yours. Did you find them? Quiet! No, search that way. So what's going on? I'm completely lost, man. I told you before, when a Persona user opposes a palace's ruler and becomes a threat to them, this happens. It's to prevent you from being affected by distortions. Is this? Skull? Your appearance reflects your inner self. It's the rebel that slumbers within. Not that you'll get it. Nope. Then stop asking questions and accept what you see for what it is. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> Wait, we're in deep shit! I said to be quiet! We might have gotten away here, but we're still screwed with Kamoshida at the real school. That's quite sharp of you, for being an idiot. Relax. The Kamashita in reality can't possibly know about what happens here. A shadow is the true self that is suppressed. A side of one's personality they don't want to see. So, we're okay? Did the Kamashita in reality remember about the execution? There you have it. 
All right. Now that we know that, all we gotta do is... Wait. I guided you as promised. It's your turn to cooperate with me. That's why I was super nice about teaching you idiots everything. Huh? Cooperate? Don't you remember? I originally came here for an investigation. I need to erase the distortion from my body and regain my real form. That's why we must delve deep into mementos and... Whoa, hold up. What are you going on and on about? We never said anything about helping you out. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you not going to repay the hospitality I showed you? Especially you! You're going to up and leave, even though you're already part of my master plan? 